Well, now that we have refining and I found oil, which we'll just go and have a look at in a second, I think we're going to go flight and then radio. Again, another resource, something for us to go and collect. Offshore oil, not as fun. That's under Kilwa. Beautiful. That's just on the land for us to improve. That's on the land for us to improve. We're going to lose that city in a second, but at least we've got one source of oil. That's really cool. Instantly build a factory and a workshop in this district. Factories provide production. I love James Watt on an England game. They get really, really good, and I felt soon. Very soon as well. Sorry, Congo, but um, yeah, not, not very sorry. Here's Nottingham with my religion. With four population, we'll just... Uh, I'll make a little farm triangle, but we can increase the population just to put the pressure on... Kabasa, you settled too close. I'm sorry, Congo. Um, but it's my city now, so I wasn't really settling that close to you, was I? No. Now I bought myself a battleship in Otsu. If I can take Takasaki and this somehow, somehow that's enough to push me over the loyalty boundary, that'll be great. If it's not, I'll give it up as a bad project, and we're going to have to go to war with Canada. <laughs> but it's you know, worse things have happened. Yeah, smile now, Canada. Smile now. This is going to get very, very ugly for you. I'm going to put the oil and aluminium card in to the government because I think that's going to massively help. And let's put five-year plan instead of public works. We've got liberalism, Republican legacy. Bissell Banking is pretty much the only thing growing all of my big cities. And now let's go to democracy. Hopefully blow the walls to bits like that. Yep, perfect. And now anti-tank crew one comes in and then two comes in. Great. Next turn we can take that. I really hope that's going to be enough. For Canada's sake, if nothing more. <laughs> but I really, really hope it's enough. There we go. City taken. Let's keep the city minus 20. Ugh, that's annoying. Oh, that's positive one. Okay. So as long as we hold Takasaki, it's enough. But it's just holding it is the problem. There are some resources to chop out, so we're going to try that. Let's get the builder and then quickly a monument. It says that it's got negative amenities. Now that is a bit of a problem. Once that sorts itself out, because it should be a positive, that'll only be on minus eight and then I'll chop some stuff down. I think we might... We might get away with this, you know. Ursa's getting oily. Look at that. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, got actually quite a bit coming in per turn. It's nice. And Norwich now has a factory as well. Perfect. Now, I'm hoping that will extend over to Blackburn. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's taken like seven turns off that. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Barbarians, make your way in. I can attack you slowly. I only get one experience each attack. I need 25 attacks to get to level three. But hey, that helps. Here we go. So currently we've got minus 16 loyalty from nearby citizens because of the Byzantine pressure. But if I start upping the population of this city by doing a bit of shopping, just that population there has made a big difference. Like that, only minus 11 now. Yep. There we go. Okay, we can make a big difference here. I think we're just going to chop out everything we can from these cities. I think we can rescue them. We can rescue them from the jaws of defeat. Oh, that's hilarious. Yerevan's been on this map the whole time and I've never noticed. I could have been having more faith per turn. My 1,361 faith is just so low. And Ursa felt like a fool. Democracy time. As I said, we're not going tourism. I'm going to be going science. This will help me do that a lot. Oh man, I've lost logistics, which is a little bit of that. I'm going to actually, I mean, military research is a good card, but logistics is more of a quality of life thing, and I like that. New Deal, 40 amenities, 80 housing across my nation. With Republican legacy, with liberalism, that'll make a big difference. Governors provide two loyalty more. There is another card I can pick up in a second if I need more. I have one more choice. Goodness me, I have another choice. Public transport. I'm building a lot of neighborhoods, actually, so that could be fun. I'm going to pick up colonial taxes, 25% extra gold, 10% production in all cities, not on my original continent. I have quite a few of those because I've been caught of loving everywhere. But yes, we go. Look, it's working. It's working. And I've got some really good trade routes now that I can send to these cities. Yep. And that's right. You keep, you keep pillaging if you want. I'm going to move my great engineer here to try and lure them around. But this is good for my slinger. I like it. Anyway, professional sports time. I don't think... A stadio has been built yet. I don't think. Nope, not yet, but it's worth enough. If I can get that one, I'll be very happy. It's the least exciting out of all of the buildings, but Royal Society is the one to go for for space projects because you can just throw builders at them. Just put Liang in a city, get the builders going, and you'll be 
absolutely fine. Oh, my Pouchet's capital is now flipping. Is there anything else? Anything else that doesn't want to join us? Oh, Bologna is actually... Oh, my lord. Mongolia, they've put a good resistance up, actually. As is Scythia, they've sort of stabilized. I think it's because both of them are in normal ages. We'll get them later. Don't worry, Carthage is holding up because it's on the coast. I can't flip it, but... Like, we've, we've expanded enough here. I've got so much land that I'm, I'm very happy with what I've got. Professional sports. A time when all of your nation becomes crazy happy. What's up next? Nuclear program. I like science foundations as a card. That's a fun card. How many shopping malls have we built so far, I wonder? Let's have a look. Four on the way or being built? We've actually already got four. Awesome. We're getting them. We're getting them done pretty quick, actually. It's nice. Rocketry discovered. Okay, that's a little project for me to be getting on with. Build a spaceport everywhere we can. Oh, I can do an aid request. Yay! Every, the whole world is my friend. So if that doesn't go through, I'm going to be questioning the validity of my friends. <laughs> we'll be having strict words. Just to sort of show you where we are, by the way, you can see score-wise. Yeah, clear lead. I think hopefully we'll get to 2,500 this game if we're lucky. Culture-wise, I am getting a culture victory very slowly, but Pericles is so tough unless they got knocked out of the game, it wouldn't happen. Religion, my religion's strong enough to stop anybody but Basil has eight points, which is slightly worrying. They don't even have the Statue of Liberty. Got to keep an eye on that. Would be a bit annoying and embarrassing, wouldn't it, if we went to all of the trouble of playing this game and then the AI won a culture victory. Uh, the diplomacy victory, even worse. Culture victory at least is, like, relatively impressive. Yay! Aid request. Go on, everyone. Do it. You know you want to. You know you want to give in to the inevitable. Hey, it worked. Someone voted against it. Hang on. Who voted against it? Marley, Phoenicia, Mapoche. Ugh. I mean, there's always one, and in this case, three. The water parks are beginning to get finished, and as you can see, we've just got ten ecstatic cities now, which is just lovely. Now, I just took a dip into a previous government, because this plus two loyalty per turn to the city can be replaced now with three loyalty per turn in all cities not on the original continent, as well as extra food. It's a good combination. It's a good combination. Vistle banking is useful, but not as useful as it used to be, so I'm now going to pick... Uh, actually, no, I've got so much faith per turn, I was going to pick up the science foundations card but i mean i've got 1500 faith per turn and all i'm doing with it is buying great people so it's fine there is electricity and we've got a new great person another admiral beautiful still popping down great works of art as well i think we're going to take the new scythian capital and their other city within a couple of turns we've also got mapuche's capital about to flip to us so we're still expanding sort of north to south at the moment mongolia is very very brilliantly blocking my advance and it's just through sheer weight of population 18 pop 14 pop 14 pop they have almost 70 population in eight cities it's very effective fair play i say to them fair play oh, 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 oh my culture bomb into canada worked though so that's a little bit cheeky let's just quickly use one charge ah okay right that's that adds a problem i can't put an encampment right next to the city center even though it's not my own city center ah i'm gonna have to create a puzzle then because i don't think venice is going to be able to do it as well we'll try and buy it out i'll see if it's any different on the city state otherwise what we might have to do is find some enemy naval melee units and attack those interesting very interesting this is this is a bit of a puzzle just in case i need to go into like a massive end game war um who's the weakest congo has the least tech so congo is the least likely to be able to actually attack us okay cool well we'll keep an eye on this i'm i'm kind of very quietly optimistic this will still work on venice but if it doesn't it's fine we'll, we'll come up with a backup plan well, I might as well then. If I can't build it next to Quebec, then what I'll do is I'll just build it into the Barbarian Void. And I'll put my slinger there and just hope, hope the Barbarians will spawn around it. So my alliance with Canada broke and I, I don't want to say I'm a genius, but I calculated that perfectly. Look, we didn't get to 80 alliance points, so it's only alliance level 1. Which means if I go to war with Canada, I will not trigger a betrayal emergency, which is a lovely thing. So what I'm going to do is preactively denounce Canada just in case. 
because my slinger will be able to resist a kind of a, a few attacks. It's only line inventory. Our city should be way tough enough to resist that. Yeah, no problems with that at all. And should we have barbarians attacking my other city? I'm going to bring my slinger back into my city center and use these engineers to kind of lure the barbarians around in circles. That'll be effective. Okay, yep. Sorry, Canada. I'm so sorry, but you are the one I'm going to have to denounce. Build the stadium. And is the stadio still available? It is still available. Perfect. I think that's three charges of I fell. Oh, I might need a little bit more, but I mean, it's pretty close. A great writer. Oh, and a great musician. Hey, I actually had pretty much no music in my nation, so that's really handy. Let's grab a satellite quickly. I don't think I'll need to use bombers, but you know, it's always a good game where you have them available. I never, I never feel like I want to have a game where I need a bomber and I, you know, I can't get one. But more importantly, there's airports. That allows me to transport my slinger around once we've got to the requisite level. Time for a star to yo. So, two amenities to every city in my civilization pretty much means that I have a nationwide yield increase of about 10% on everything, including growth, which is wonderful. But one thing it never tells you is that the six culture per turn applies to every single one of your cities. Now I have, I believe about 50, City? No, 43. Oh, I'm such an exaggerator. It's about 250 culture per turn, just from that one wonder. It's pretty good, right? Some big flips today. Big flip. 16 population Scythian City has flipped, which means that, oh, this one's now losing 27 per turn. And I should start putting a lot of pressure on Phoenicia as well. I also have just stolen Mapuche's capital, because of course I have. And it's actually got an amphitheater and an art museum for me, ready built. I mean, that's pretty cool. It also, very nicely, frees up a couple of cities for me that were just on the edge of being useful, but now are at absolutely not useful anymore. This is this is the most therapeutic thing when you can be like, don't need you anymore, don't need you anymore. Oh, that's three cities I've just been able to take away now so I can just look again, look at this, look at how it's changed suddenly. All of these great works and cities that aren't needed anymore. Oh, and even better, there's artwork that can be moved through as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring it straight to Mapuche City. <laughs> okay, let's test this theory. I really want this to work. I really, really do. So there is the industrial zone. I'll just get James Watt in to do the thing. Next Next turn, I'll know. I'll know if this works or not. Oh, that's brilliant. Mapuche's capital had Forbidden City. So I've got another government policy now. Oh, that's so good. Well, there we go. Science Foundations. I can finally pop that one into my government. I have a lot of power plants, a lot of research labs. Oh yeah, this is really, really good. Okay, advanced flight is there, but we're just going to test our ferry. Does it work the same with city-states and encampments? Yes. That is unfortunate. Okay, there is another way that I thought of of doing this, okay? So I wasn't out of ideas, but it was a bit more of a drastic way. What we do is we destroy Venice. We completely remove it. Then I put my encampment in. Then I put a city where Venice was and I gift it to someone that I'm going to go to war with. Say Canada, for instance. And then I have the slinger pre-ready in the encampment and then <laughs> I attack the city center. I mean, could it be any more convoluted? I, I'm not sure. But you know what? It may just work. <laughs> it also may be a total waste of time. But until you try, you know, how are you supposed to know for certain? Is Ursa regretting not leveling his slinger up earlier in the game? Yes, I thought there was a way, but you know what? I'm doing this challenge in a ridiculous way so that you don't have to. So I'm going to spend far too much money hoping that after action reports, where is it? There, 25 extra combat experience. Does it round up from one to two? Probably doesn't, does it? We'll give it a try. You never know. Ah, one. Never mind. Okay, we've only got 22 more attacks to make. Okie dokie. Operation Raise Venice to the Ground. Let's uh, let's use this battleship and have a little bit of a go. Oh, this is going to generate quite a few grievances, but I don't have anything with Venice right now. So, you know, it's fine. Just to check. I definitely can't. Okay, right. Whilst at war, I thought maybe I'd be able to build an encampment, but no. No, it's not the case. Never mind. We'll start bombarding Venice from a distance. These walls won't last very long and I've got anti-tank crew just waiting for the walls to flounder. Also, don't mind if I poach Einstein. Oh, research labs providing for science makes it even better to be England. Lovely stuff. Oh, if I can get Turing as well, that'd be awesome. Though actually computers and one random tech I've already done. Eh, give me a small bonus, but okay, not one I need to rush. 
All beer! Scythia, you're so kind, thank you! Even comes of an industrial zone! Oh, how lovely! I know I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I'm gonna just bring up the point again. This combination between iterant preachers and cross-cultural dialogue has been working overtime for me. I've barely spread my religion around at all this game, and I have 65 cities and 121 science coming in per turn. That could have been faith, it could have been culture, it could have been gold, but it's brilliant. Oh, beautiful. And now I get research labs giving me plus four science. 700 science per turn. Very good. Satellites, we can go into space properly now. Well, I would, but I keep getting distracted with these traders. I can't look at these food routes. Oh, I'm just making Bradford bigger and bigger and bigger. We're up above 200 production now. You know what? I might as well just treat myself to a couple of purchases here because I really should get going. Well, if we have a look, steel is boosted, combustion is boosted, plastics is boosted, synthetic materials is boosted. So we might as well just go all the way through to there. Oil power plant, three armies. I can do that. That's fine. Oh, and Tesla. Oh yeah, I'm going to use two charges on Bradford. Yeah, perfect. Oh, in fact, Leeds can make the oil power plant. Look at that, oily. We're going to use our oil, yay! Oh, this is brilliant. I found some more barbarians to the north of Blackburn, so I'm using great engineers to lure them down. <laughs> There's probably a much better use of my great engineers than doing this, but I'm loving it. I'm just luring them into the walls and my slinger is getting the attacks. So I need 20 more experience now. <laughs> Only 20. It's fine. It's fine. So with steel and globalization, this is a turn for yields. Watch this. We've got 725 science and 1,870 culture. These spare envoys, I'm going to pop seven of them down into Nanadol. This will do two things for me. Firstly, all districts on or next to lake or coast town gain two culture. That's some big numbers. Also, that'll be my second culture city state, which means that kill will fire, giving me 15% extra culture across my entire empire. So you can say I go from 1,871 to 2,453. <laughs> I then have globalization. Get rid of colonial offices because now I have international space agency. 5% science per city-state I'm suzerain of. Plump that in. I'm suzerain of a lot of city-states. Let me just tell you that for free. Like so. And you can see 982. I've also just taken Aleppo with a very good campus in it. Look at that. Oh, it's already eight adjacency for me. Perfect. Well, better get social media and just, uh, you know, give me even more culture per turn because 2400 it's not enough nowhere near enough oh i will just treat myself to robert goddard though that's uh 20 towards production on space projects and i can use them twice because of mausoleum so bradford's gonna get even faster pingala also has space initiative which is 30 percent production we've got a lot of modifiers all adding together now yeah this is gonna be big this is gonna be big i'm deliberately by the way sending my production and my beautiful trade routes to cities that i am going to capture so I'm actually pumping all of Mongolia cities full of food. And the reason is I don't lose population when I steal them. And the Great Works effect is way bigger than any population pressure. So it doesn't matter how big these cities get. The bigger they are, the more I steal. So it actually makes sense for me to feed Mongolia's cities. And I'm doing exactly the same thing with Saivia's, which is why I've been picking up eight and six and 16 population cities rather than like two or three less. Very handy. I think we've almost got enough shopping malls now. I can see a couple are finishing. I think I need needed 10 in total so there's one two I've got, oh seven complete already yeah okay right so we've actually got enough in the build queue to give me that achievement now perfect well there's collective activism i've got to put this in somewhere haven't i uh, i'll put it instead of science foundations for now I've, i'm getting a lot of faith per turn and all i can use it on really is great people so i don't need that card in but 3296 culture per turn and a mapuche city with is that a archaeological museum okay i don't actually have have any artifacts interesting i'm gonna have to find some i think but luckily i know just the sausage to have some fortunately greece knows exactly what i'm gonna do with them and they're quite expensive 2200 still worth it oh no i need another batch don't i ah you clever thing you sold me defective goods greece oh, they knew what they were doing they knew what they were doing okay cool it's not too bad i've given them all of my gold but now i have everything together and uh oh it's almost themed very almost i like it cool so i think today i'm gonna go for synthetic technocrancy because i get power in all cities which is good because my coal output is just ridiculous at the moment i'm putting so much carbon into the atmosphere we don't want to talk about that should probably fix it 
But more importantly, 30% production towards city projects is just brilliant. So we'll get that going quickly. There's another Admiral. Everyone wants to join me and that's fine. You don't mind that at all. Optimization imperative. There's synthetic technocrancy and I believe I have a democracy legacy as well. So we can keep my trade routes, my awesome super trade routes. We'll double check that as we go. Right, so we've got economic policy to spare because I've no longer not New Deal. I like New Deal. New Deal's really good, but we've, we've lost it. Don't, don't even think about it anymore. It's gone. Let's get market economy just to power through science a little bit quicker. Colonial taxes, like all of these are still pretty good, but I'm going to go democratic legacy because this is helping with my space parts. After action reports is helping my slinger, which is a ridiculous thing to say, but it absolutely is. There's integrated space cell that'll help my production as well. And Vissel Banken. In fact, colonial taxes is good, but it's not giving me the production where I need it, which is in my capital. So instead, I'm I'm going to whap in e-commerce. There you go. Liberalism. Oh, it's doing some hard work right now, but I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we, our, our, our yields and stats are still pretty decent. So now, Bradford. Bradford, the capital almighty. 254 production per turn. Let's just quickly whip in a seaport. That'll be the extra production towards space projects. And then we've got the second charge of Goddard. And finally, Earth satellite in two turns. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to be okay on production. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I even worried? Oh, this is really good. Oh, yeah, perfect. Just by going to war with Venice, they've sent their boats over to where my slinger is. Okay, cool. Right, I've got after action reports, and this is a city state, not barbarian, so I can't remember if I get experience. Six experience. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we need to keep this army here. Yes, engineers. Flood into the sea. Just as long as you're next to Norwich, that's all that matters. <laughs> I don't care otherwise. These are the finest mines in the entirety of the Ryan Empire, and I'm using them to bait some barbarians <laughs> and three cities troops. I mean, honestly, you'd think they deserve better, but no. There we go. Shopping spree. We did it. That's the third achievement. Have 10 shopping malls in my civilization at the same time. It's actually really helping. The happiness of my cities is really good. Plus they give a decent whack of gold, which I enjoy. That's, that's cool. I just realized as well, we've got 456 population compared to 27, 62, 54, 15, 79, 59, 104, 8, 131, 10, 72. I think we've almost got as much population as the entirety of the rest of the world. All added together, and that is just the power of Court of Love not killing population when you take the cities, combined with Feed the World. The best. I'm gonna say it, I believe it, I will stand on this hill and I will stand on it all day. Feed the World is the best religion. It is more districts, more yields, bigger cities, more production, just everything's good. Synthetic materials, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is we just took a 15 population city from Mongolia. That has led to the imminent collapse of their entire empire. Oh, this is going to be fundamentally disgusting for them. Also, am I going to be cheeky? Am I going to do it? Am I going to um, bread and circuses with their 15 population city? You better believe I am. Oh, and there's Brussels. That is actually a little bit annoying. That was a city-state that I was suzerain of, but I'm not going to make the mistake I did last time with Bologna. I'll take it. It's fine. It's not a diplomatic issue. You can take city-states like that. There's no emergency. It'll be fair enough. It's just slightly annoying. But you know what? We've got so much in the way of yields, I guess. I guess it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I know it's a very particular thing, but if, uh, and I've always thought this, if you court of love a city-state, A, I, I wish you could press a button to say don't apply court of love to city-states. That would be a really good thing. But the other thing that I'd quite enjoy is if you take over a city-state and they've joined your empire willingly, I wish you got the envoys back. Because it's not like the envoys have been killed or lost through some sort of horrible diplomatic action. Like, everyone's still alive and happy. It's just that they've joined your empire now. Could they not just get redeployed? I feel like they should just be able to get redeployed, but... Maybe not. Yeah, go on, Slinger. Go on, Slinger. Yes. Yes. Eight experience that time. Ho, 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 ho. Earth satellite is in space. There we go. There it is. And Bradford is 25 population. First city in the world to do it. Oh, that's a good smoke trail. Look at that. Now, the Scythian city has fallen as well. That's right. Everyone's invited. Everyone is invited. With that, I think this Slinger is now, there we go, available to get promoted. Which in itself is quite exciting. I'm looking forward. Oh, it's going to be good. Moon landing. Three turns. It's not bad. 
Ah, uh, yes. Right, here we go. How are you? Cultural hegemony. Now this gives me the ability to choose rock band promotions. And I have a little something very special in mind for that. Cultural hegemony. I want how are you. It's too good. It's too good a card not to have. I think I'm going to have to get rid of liberalism, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. Everyone's just about happy enough now. I should probably buy a couple more stadiums and aquatic centers and things, but we're all just about happy enough. Stolen Bologna, and a new age has dawned. Now, excitingly, Mapuche and Saivia are both in Dark Ages, as is Greece. Ooh, I think we may have some fun with Greece in a bit. What do I want? Reformer coinage? A bit more gold on my international trade routes? That could be very handy. Heartbeat of Steam would give me a little bit more production. I'll go for production for the space projects, but I mean, ultimately, could have gone either way with that. Right, so Slinger is now leveled up. That means that I think this Slinger is now level three. I believe we should name it. What are we going to name it? The Ragged Marksman? The Orphan Blazers. <laughs> okay, cool. If you say so. Still though, who am I going to target now? Mapuche is going to be losing a lot of loyalty and, and look, they're building theater squares for me. I like that. I don't think I'm needing any help with Mapuche. They're sort of doing everything themselves. Let's work on Mongolia some more. Let's, okay, treat myself, we'll go. I would say for like four rock bands. Let's start with four and we'll see how this goes. Lovely stuff. World Congress time. I think a lot of people are going to be doing a lot of stuff here, but I'm going to... Who was winning? I think somebody actually had quite a few points. Basil. Okay, no, it's not too bad. We'll go for World's Fair. I'll vote for Greece because they've got the most points and I want to keep them on side. Luxury B was on Amber last time, so I'll vote on that one. And New Districts act as a culture bomb. Where was this when I needed it? Honestly. But diamonds are forever! Clearly not. <laughs> okay, we've got composites and smart power doctrine. Okay, cool. Serious question, is the smart power doctrine just the thing where everyone agreed to not nuke each other? Like, because I for a while I thought it was to do with sort of um, environmental energy, but I don't think it is, is it? I think it's like a sort of rules of modern warfare sort of thing. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why does anyone listen to me? Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Ursa. I get fed my information by a man called Paul. He's very lovely, by the way. You should really meet him. Well, I mean, if you're going to continue sitting outside my city, don't mind if I just level up my slinger even more. Gee, I, I got more experience attacking the caravel. Why is that? No idea. Oh, it's because it's a ranged versus a melee unit, isn't it? Ah, okay, fine. But three turns until the aerodrome's done, saving up some gold, and I should be able to whack down an airport super quickly. And I have the second airport ready to rock over here. Oh ho ho ho! Looking forward to this! Rock band! Where are you? Where are you? There we go, indie bands! I'm just... Renaissance Beach, I'm just spamming out indie bands. Now, every time I produce a concert with an indie band, that city loses 40 loyalty. These will not last very long, and that's not just because I have terrible luck with any rock bands, but it's because they don't have a promotion that actually makes them better at performing. So expect them to disappear very quickly, but I can target a city and I can just nuke its loyalty and cause them to flip really really quickly in fact might as well then I can take the card off I'm gonna make a bunch more rock bands over here as well we'll make another four that'll attack actually we'll make three that'll go from a push eh? and I'll make another two because I can only afford two that'll attack Saivia perfect to the moon! Just like the stocks and shares that I don't exist. <laughs> or own. Don't exist? What am I talking about? Ten times my science output in culture there, which is about 11,000 culture, or three turns worth. Doesn't sound as spectacular when you put it like that, does it? Oh well. Future Civic, and I've got Carbon Recapture as a project now, which is wonderful. Nanotech, it's looking good. Let's just go and explore a little bit of tech until we find the most advanced projects. We'll find something. Oh, oh my goodness, I realise I haven't done any flood barriers in any of my cities. That could be a problem. So now I get to have a look and see how many projects I need in each city. Their capital needs two performances. So two performances they shall have. Now watch as I lose a bunch of these. Anything that survives is good because that just sort of gives me another faith saving. But look, zero out of a hundred, that city is now going to flip. This city just needs the one performance, which is lovely. Rising stars. Why is none, none of them are, are, are dead? That's spectacular. Cool. I'll take it. That's that's awesome. Yep, that was very effective. So we just had the 18 population capital and a 14 population city flip. And uh, yep, we've, we've now in a position where just one concert, an industrial snake, will 
bring this city to its knees as well. Some of these names are brilliant. I love them. Okay, right. That's pretty much all the concerts that I can do in that direction now. So I need to go to the next target. Chili Scythe hasn't got anything that I can target at all. What's going on? I love it when rock bands just can't be used because the enemy is too weak. They're the... <laughs> The infrastructure's just not there. Fine. I okay, cool. Well I guess we'll we'll just go wherever we can. Actually sometimes sometimes when the rock band fails it can be quite useful because you can send multiple to the same city in the same term. Ulaanbaatar! Another one flips to me. Iriscore with Court of Love. It's just not a problem really, is it? Just everything is sort of flipping to me very willingly, very happy. And Mapuche, you're going to be next. Oh, the Deep Turtle. Deep Turtle gone. Never mind. Frightened Party's still around. That one will flip this turn. Then this one will flip, and I think that one will flip very shortly after. Oh, yes, this is great. Rock bands with a purpose. When you don't care about the tourism, they're a lot of fun. Hangar and airport. And now if I take my slinger all the way over that and airlift them. Is this going to count? Is that going to do it for me? Flight Slingulator. Yay! The Orphan Blazers can finally go on holiday. You know what? Venice, I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> they did the hard work for me. Literally, my slinger just stood there, pelting a boat with rocks for about 300 years. Brilliant. It's what you love to see. It's what you love to see. Here is another city from Mapuche. Yay! And we will make more with our rock bands. Ancient Empire. Oh, it doesn't quite have enough movement. Never mind. We can go to other places. This one is lost. Oh, it's always going to be the way. We knew we were going to have some casualties today. So that is fine. And that one's lost as well. But okay. We turn to 3.3 loyalty. That'll flip really quickly now. And this one hopefully we'll be able to flip within a turn or two. Oh, and this one's going to go as well. Perfect. Well, somehow I've got 10 envoys available. So I'm just going to put containment in briefly. Now this doubles up envoys as long as the target that is currently Caesar and over the city state is a different government, but nobody is my government. So easy enough to do. We can go actually one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and then just for good luck, stick another one in each one. But that hopefully gives us 15% extra gold across my empire. Yeah, it certainly does. Perfect stuff. Lots of new city-state friends. And I'm just going to airlift my slingers every turn now, because I can. 14 population city. We're almost at the north coast now. We've actually almost linked up our two sets of cities. That's the mad thing. Look, look at this. It's almost like this is as far out as I can zoom out. And I, I can't actually see all my cities at once. There's actually three cities in one turn there. Oh, there goes the Mars colony. We are getting there and the turns have very much slowed down. I've mentioned this on a previous game. Has anybody else found that the late game in Civ at the moment, after the last few patches, has just gone so slow? It's only turn 212. It's like a good five minutes on turn rendering at the moment. It's incredible. Anyway, two more Mapuche cities and I got Wolverhampton and back. Yay! It's back! I feel bad for Mongolia. Mongolia is now going to disappear. They have one city left. If I could give you a cultural alliance, Mongolia, I would, but I can't, so I won't. Mongolia will not stand the test of time. <laughs> Whoopsie! Yeah, they're, they're gone. If I was going for a cultural victory, this would be a bad thing, but I'm not, so it's good. We're on robotics now. Oh, phew. Just really, really, really hoping we find the next space park quickly. Okay, predictive systems is looking good. Do I just pick up nuclear fusion first, or I'll see if I unlock what I need to with predictive systems. It was a bit of a gamble, this. Okay, there's predictive systems. Let's have a quick peek. Smart materials. Oh, we got lucky. We got very lucky. We're not going to be waiting too long. Another one of Mapuche cities, though. And, oh, a musician. Fantastic. Still getting lots and lots of great people. 2,400 faith per turn, by the way. Pretty, pretty crazy. One of the best bits is I've been absolutely edging the CO2. It's, it's been 0 0.9 degrees for about seven turns, and it's said one turn away from melt. And I've been running carbon projects, and finally, finally, I pushed it back one turn. You can see I actually lost 77 carbon that turn. It's going to be a big chunk, but I reckon we can freeze the world. I've got enough cities now with uh, nothing better to do in them, <laughs> I guess is the official way of putting it. It's late into the game. Often, one thing I tend to do is just, like, get cities to do projects because they just repeat it and you don't have to worry about them and it's fine. I've, I've got so many cities doing these projects. Oh, there's a stadium on the way. That's quite cool. A new batch of cities flip, which is all good, but I now have the project. Excellent. Capital. Can we 
just leave the solar system now. I'm bored. Four turns. Four turns. Really? Feels extreme. Oh, there's Korolev. Ugh. Oh. I'm so used to having Korolev by now. It's been really weird. Oh, don't you love it when one of your new cities has space for five great works and it didn't have anything in them? You're like, oh, go on then. I'll move them to the front line. <laughs> it was minus seven before. Now it's minus 12. No one can stop against my... I've just realized I have 3,000 points. Oh, I very almost have more points than everybody else put together. It's not going to take long before I get to that point. I've got four governors as well and I have no idea what to do with them. Anyone else always think it's really weird that the, you have to wait so long for sculptures. Atomic era. Mad. And then as soon as you get one, they all come along at the same time. There's Exoplanet. This game is taking a long time. Mapuche is out of the game as well. Finish them off. Yay! Now if I wanted to take on Greece in the same way, all I'd have to do is just move my theatre squares to attack Sparta and this city to the south as well. We've got a few theatre squares we could pop in. Look, one, two, three, four at very minimum. It wouldn't make, it wouldn't be too long before we uh, we, we break through. But as a little treat for myself, Amundsen Scott Research Station. 20% science, 10% production in all cities as well as a random assortment of penguins that you have to wait and watch just sort of waddle about. It's very cute. Everyone likes the penguins. They could be endless. Do we do we ever really know if there's any true end to the penguins? Do they live in the uranium that's just above? No one's entirely sure. Or is it just my life right now? Just watching Lagrange station projects get sent into the atmosphere, doing future tech and future civic. Good fun. Good fun. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. <laughs> Good news though, yeah, we are absolutely cooling the planet now. I mean, I'm still kicking a bunch of carbon out into the planet, but you know, ignoring that, it's all fine. Don't you love it when the game has ground to a halt and all the air I can do is send a spy to kill your spaceport so now you can't do the projects and it takes even longer. <laughs> this is so much fun. Three turns, yay. Oh. Eight years per turn. Eight light years per turn. 21 done. Come on. Come on. Uh, we're still flipping cities, though. That's a nine population city from Saivia we've just taken. Nice. Oh, I've chilled the world as well. 0.6. We're getting there. Soon we'll all be frosty snowmen. That's what, that's what I'm aiming for this game. Well, hey, there we go. The science victory achieved on turn 230. Really, really fun game. Look at that score as well. Way into Augusta Caesar territory. My biggest scores of the game always come with Eleanor because you take all the cities with all the population and all of the industry. It's wonderful. So let's look at some graphs. Look, buildings constructed very high. I like Eleanor's line because it's nice and pink and you can see it. Cities captured a couple founded a lot this is the thing court of love people often focus on the stealing of cities but remember you can settle your own and if you do that you tend to do very well districts constructed this is why we beat the ai this is the stat that matters great people earned as well actually I, this is the point i started generating more great writers and artists greece actually had a lot less than i suspected mansa musa getting quite a few of them i think that were a lot of merchants and uh generals i think player culture now, Pericles playing the good game, but ooh, hey, this is where we hit 5,000 culture per turn, thus making the axis of the graph totally useless, which is always something I enjoy doing. Era score as well. Look, I think we took the lead about turn 150, 55, something like that. Something like that. Faith. Oh, yeah. We, we played a faith build, and you can tell. I took the lead briefly on turn 45 or something, and then we never really let it go for the entire game. So powerful. I don't remember having such a strong monumentality game like getting those settlers out really good which was all considering and, and funny considering i was playing a science game but there we go there is the science playing very highly using my faith and my industry to push that one my score as i started stealing cities like every time you see like a little drop the, this is where i'm stealing cities from people religions founded good good me snagging feed the world actually i did it within a few turns of everyone else taking their religion so that worked nicely wonders yeah i don't really tend to build many early game wonders in these sort of games Games, but it looks like I built my first on like a turn 120. Then we never really looked back, did we? What an empire we had. The pink blob spread from north almost to south and we'd actually managed to get to pretty much the halfway point. As I mentioned before, a few trade routes, a couple of passes around with Liang and Reina. I had 17 governor titles available by the way. I just I didn't know what to do with them. 
We could have bought those theater squares. We could have pushed into Greece fairly easily because we had ammunition. Like we had so many great works at our disposal. Nobody could really resist us. The only reason I didn't get a culture victory on this game is because I never focused on getting open borders, trade routes. We could have gone for Biosphere, which would have hugely increased the amount of tourism. We could have also gone for more wonders. Oh yeah, look, Byzantium. I totally forgot I had a cultural alliance with them and uh, they're now losing their cities to me. So we're attacking from the north now. Oh yes, and actually really quickly before we go, let me just show you the four achievements we got because they're really, really good fun. So I had 13 shopping malls by the end of the game. We had, of course, the Slinger, where are you? Oh, they're, they're hiding away in a, an encampment that they flew about. We actually ended up getting back Wolverhampton, which was my city, which was taxed without representation, but that's back in, uh, in our empire now, which is lovely. Actually, it's a royal city, look at that. And the Queen and Country. Turns out if you steal everyone's cities, you can spread around the map with some speed. And that's exactly what we ended up doing. Yeah, this game was a joy. I really, really had a lot of fun. And if you had fun as well and you enjoyed watching this series, feel free to subscribe. It would be lovely. But we're going to leave it here today because we have another series coming. Let me, let me just think about what... Tomorrow! Huzzah! Right, go and watch the next video with you. Off! Goodbye! Bye! And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Gratis, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Devil X, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amiri C, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Deeble Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Guberman, Clint Hennes, Thank you all for your support, it's amazing, see you all next time, goodbye!